Homeworld has been updated from version 1.2 to 1.4. Save games from the old version should be compatible, however some mods may stop working. If you wish to continue with the old version, you can opt in using Steam's betas feature. No, okay, that's fine. Um, mods. All selected mods? We need to, uh, we need to unsubscribe from all selected mods, right? Confirm. Okay, so we're just gonna play Core Royalty Ideology Biotech for now, right? Uh, options, audio... It's a little loud. I like the uh, picture of the devil with a little baby. The the devil and the the devil and his baby graphics full screen borderless full screen to run Rimworld in borderless full screen open Steam go to library tab at the top find Rimworld on the list and right click it properties add pop up window without quotes pop up pop pop up window to launch options. Oh my god, you actually Any chance I can be that? named after your most useless character? Borderless full screen. Keep. Borderless full screen. Keep. Alright, I'll just leave it like that. Um, hey Bouncer, thanks for the thousand bits. You want to be named the most u after the most useless character? Okay, but listen, Chad, it's going to take a couple of goes of this. I, like, I, it's been so long. Uh, have never have never played a, a, a DLC. Okay, so this is Hrim, Hrim World? Hrim World. Do it like last time and just pick a name in chat. Okay, I'll do it like last time. Uh, is it still uh, loud for you guys? A little? A little loud? Music volume? Master volume? It's a little bit. No, it's fine? Okay. New colony? Crash landed. Lost tribe. The rich explorer. Naked brutality. The mechanator. The sang... sang the sanguif... The sanguifage. The sanguophage. One crash-landed sanguophage needing blood to survive, and one human colonist. <laughs> Alright, so you're like a vampire. You can do a vampire run. And this one is one mechanator. And a few servant mechanoids. What's a mechanator? Mechanator. Is, is, the, is the vampire thing fun or no? Three crash landed survive survivors, the classic Rimworld experience. We'll go with that for now. Do you want to do Cassandra Classic or do we want to do Randy Random? <laughs> Good old Randy Random. Losing is fun. The setting is designed to be unfair. Blood and dust. Strive to survive. Adventure story. There is room to grow and thrive, but it's still a dangerous planet. Expe recommended for experienced strategy gamers on their first game of RimWorld. Experienced RimWorld players who want some breathing room to pursue funny or weird goals. I hate Randy. You, you want to do Cassandra instead? You could do Peaceful. Build a community in a sandbox environment. Major direct threats are disabled. Adventure story? Community builder. Strive to survive? Commitment mode. Is this, uh, you can only save when quitting the game. Oh, yeah, we're definitely doing commitment mode, right? You think Strive to Survive is good? We didn't beat the Long Dark, no. Randy might make me rage quit. Adventure if I want an easy run. So what's the, what's like, uh, what's the... What's like the, the sort of like middle ground settings? I don't want it like too easy, but I don't want it too hard either. Strive to survive is middle? Okay. 
Experienced players who want a rough story requiring skill to survive. Okay, let's try that. We'll, we'll do strive to survive in commitment mode on Cassandra Classic. She creates a story events on a classic increasing curve of challenge and tension. She'll push you with dangerous events, then give breathing room, then come back to push once more. Or we could do Phoebe Chillax. She gives you lots of time between disasters to build your colony, but beware at high difficulty, she'll hit as hard as anyone. Or Randy Random. Randy doesn't follow rules. He'll generate random events, and he doesn't care if they make a story a triumph or utter hopelessness. It's all drama to him. You want to? We want to do just Cassandra Classic. Stop looking at Randy. <laughs> Okay, fine. Let's do Cassandra Classic for now. See how we go. Seed? Mewsh. Randomize the seed. Glowed coverage. We'll leave all this stuff at normal, right? Uh, factions. Doesn't matter. Um, wait. Oh, I, I removed one. Civil Outlander Union? I don't know if it matters. Okay, generating? Um, set schedules with long stretches of one activity to minimize travel time. I don't know what that means. What kind of biome do we want to start in? The Hardy Crab Wetlands? The Orange Coat Ocean? Temperate Forest? Temperate Forest with uh, sandstone, granite, and limestone? Slate and sandstone. The uh, the infestation stuff still stands, right? If you build inside a uh, mountain. Crab Town. Right. So you can't build inside a. Uh... Okay. Do we want? Uh, do we want water? Isn't there like uh, like. Um water mills and stuff now this has slate and sandstone large hills the average temperature is 10.3 degrees it can go down to minus 8 though 30 of 60 days 6th of April May to the 6th of September for growing there's a hundred percent berries to forage animals can graze now yeah there's no pollution there's no nearby pollution This looks fine, I think, right? Kill and eat everyone that you see. Okay. Choose your ideologian. What should your starting colonists believe? These beliefs affect gameplay and visuals. You'll be able to recruit others to your beliefs or take on their beliefs. Classic rim world without the ideologion system. No, we want custom ideology. We want to create a fluid custom. Begin with a simple ideology and develop it over time. Sure. Preset ideology. What a crazy word. Classic like gameplay with small variations or strong beliefs which support playstyles significantly different from classic RimWorld, or extremely disruptive beliefs, which make the game very different from classic RimWorld. Naked man-eaters, transcendent humanists. Oh my holy god, are you really playing tree RimWorld Tree worshippers, feral crying people. crying and shitting everywhere. Here, <laughs> take my money. Hey, Stranglethroat, thanks so much for the 10, I appreciate it. Classic-like, unity family, human purists, and high collectivists. What does this mean? Everyone must work hard and contribute to the community so they can party in a smoke leaf circle together. Unlocks the plant specialist role. Everyone must work hard, party in. The, oh, yeah, this is. Uh, each person is part of a greater whole. People should work to play their part and help the group. Exotic states of mind are central to a good life. High collectivists. There's the strong ones as well. Free ranchers, bloody dominators, techno utopians, purist flagellators, dark humans, nature over man, domination gang, cannibals, just cannibals, nudist recruiters. 
<laughs> feminine ravagers, martyrs, cowboys, <laughs> blood worshippers, criminal gang. Holy shit. Um, you can create a custom fixed or just create a custom that's that's more a bit more fluid. Custom fluid ide ideologies means you can adapt it as you play it. Yeah, I like the I like the fact that you can adapt it, right? What about some adaptive cowboys? Raising animals is the right way. Raising plants to eat is not. Men are the superior gender and should rule. And we stand for our own before others. Loyalist. What the hell? What does this one do? We stand for our own before others. So this is the community's family. Okay, unity family. And then each person is part of a greater whole. People are the Okay, so it's... The, it's Unity family is the same as high collectivists. But high collectivists want to smoke weed at the end of every day. Human purists? Humans are the moral center of the universe? The human body should not be deba debased. So these, so these people will get mad if you start uh, bioteching them, right? They want to just remain pure humans. So you can't do any bionic mods or anything like that. What does Classic like do? Your colonists get a belief system like Classic RimWorld. The rest of the world has separate ideologies generated for them. And then, so if you start with a classic like, you can you can evolve it over time, and you could just make your own. Oh, they're all the classic adapt whoever join your colony. <clears throat> no, okay, so classic light is is not fluid. Oh, these are preset. So if I want to go custom, I just create, I just pick this, and then I get to build my own religion over time. That's the one I want. I want to just be able to add in stuff that uh, sounds fun to me at the time. I don't want to start with like a template or whatever. Okay, perfect. Choose a structure. Choose the symbolic structure of your religion. I'm not saying this word anymore. I can't. Buddhist, archist. Animist or ideological? Okay, we can do symbol burning. Abstract theist? Christian origin? Islamic origin? Embodied theist? Or Hindu origin? We can randomize it. Want to just randomize it? Buddhist. Oh, you can pick all of these. Okay, let's just go ideological. Okay, and then see how it goes. Choose a starting meme. Choose one meme to form the initial idea of your religion. You will add more memes as the religion develops over time. Uh, supremacist, loyalist, guilty, individualist, collectivist. Each person is a free individual with the right to their own ideas and decisions. Nobody should be made to conform. Symbol burning prevents precepts slavery, slavery honorable. And these have um, these have medium impact. Rancher, human primacy, nature primacy, male supremacy, female supremacy, blood feeding, high life, exotic states of mind essential to a good life. Drug use is essential. <laughs> Required ritual: smoke leaf circle. <laughs> Unlocked roles: plant specialist. Unlock Ritual Smoke Leaf Circle. New Buildables Auto Bong. <laughs> That's great. I can't wait to build an Auto Bong. Oh, <laughs> okay. We've got, we'll try this one first and then see how it goes, okay? All right. Okay, let's try High Life. Uh, way of Ideology. High life. They cried for guidance. I showed them that a friend isn't a friend unless you've drifted through the mind verse together. And dude, this was a serious trip. Figuring that out, but I'm glad I did, and I'll pass the smoke to you so you can too. Nice. Okay, so we have uh, drug use essential. What do I do here now? Oh. This is the this is the the ritual sound. How do I uh, add a style category? Spike core. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this 
this is insane. This is this is crazy. Randomized symbols. Oh yeah, ideo dopistry, <laughs> dopest doper. <laughs> that is great. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, that yeah, that looks like you're kind of doped as well, right? Yeah, that's a good the doper, <laughs> the, the the dopest doper. Okay, this so our whole uh, so our colony is a colony of dopists, and uh, and we're gonna have the the grand wizard doper of all of them as well, right? Nobody dopes the doper. If you're not doing the dope, you're a dope. Yeah, true. Yeah. Hey, Andy six seven five two. Thanks for the hundred bits. Hello, Dad. Much love to amazing old man. Been watching since the town days. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, randomized precepts. This is a uh, this is the narrative. My greatest crime was taking so long to understand that. Okay, this is a uh, cancel randomized. Cast out from society, our founder Oksana Green traveled into the jungle and ingested the exotic herbs there. She found truth inside her own altered consciousness. To deepen their understanding, Green brought her followers together every week to share new chemical in inducted mental states. None could surpass Green's understanding of dreams. She was appointed to the first great decider of the dopers. Getting high once wasn't enough, man. We had to do it a thousand times. Then all the puzzle pieces fit together. Even as a child on the oceanic planet Wa Wavia, I knew that a friend isn't a friend unless you drifted through. Okay, getting high once wasn't enough. They all seemed so lost. I told them that a friend isn't a friend unless you've drifted through the mind first together. Oh. Our founder, Zario Zari Jones, traveled into the jungle and just... Okay, so all of this is, uh, is, is just like, uh, you know... It's kind of like finding the Book of Mormon out in the field, you know? I think it, this part of it, right? Sat on a park bench for 20 years as she contemplated our world. With her insight, she wrote our founding book. To deepen their understanding, Rin brought her followers together every week to share new chemical inducted mental states. Sure. Whatever. Lance of Bliss. Rin, Rin carried a psychic insanity lance named Lance of Bliss with her everywhere to remind people to live a stoned life. <laughs> okay, good. Sure. Well, can we pick... Oh, okay. So we can... Disapproved. Horrible of innocence. Female clothing, pants, and shirt. Fully nude. Cannibalism, horrible. Organ use? Organ use? Acceptable. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so our leader is the ethical chiller. <laughs> That's our leader's name. That's our leader's title. Okay, the ethical chiller. Our moral guide is the giggler. And our plant specialist is a garden holder? No. A fertilizer? No. A soil taker. Talker, sorry, no. Green flame garden knower <laughs> okay nice okay at a funeral we do the internment of dope at the smoke leaf circle we do the festival of dopestry <laughs> and at the dance party we do the dopest party no the dopest advent okay that's nice all right buildings we got the ritual seat which is a pew we're gonna replace this with a kneel pillow for sure and our building is the high fumer, the dopest smolderer, the stone smoker, the dopest gasser, <laughs> Jesus, the dopest fumer, <laughs> the stoned fumer, the stoned gasser, the stone smoker, the delirious gasser, the stoned gasser, the high fumer. Sure, we'll go back to the high fumer. Okay, our building is the shrine of dope. We got the stoned artifact, the Lance of Bliss, and the, a relic called the Ven Collar. Sure. Preferred apparel is a uh, flop hat. Everyone relaxed. Appearance, hair and beards, 63 in use. Tattoos, zero in use. Do we want to get some nice body tattoos going? Cannibal, punk. Miscellaneous, never, rare, normal, minimal, normal. Okay, 
Let's do that. Seven in use. Uh, a normal amount of body punk tattoos. I can change all this stuff if I want. I can make my own. Made from stuff, plasteel. I'm fine just uh, with it being random as it is. I don't really mind. I mean, we'll probably we'll probably die fairly quickly on this one. Okay, so organ use, we want it to be acceptable. And uh, eating nutrient paste... I don't think they should view it as don't mind. Requires meme transhumanist. Skull spike, men's spouses, women's spouses, marriage name, keep names. Always a man's, usually a woman's, usually a man's, or random. Physical love, spouse only, moderate. Insect meat, despised. Corpses, ugly. Fungus, despised. Diversity of thought, neutral. Intense bigotry. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is so good. Okay, let's go next. Oh my god. Story writer, pop idol pirate, and a defector. These are the people that we're potentially going to start with. I can't remember what's good to start with. We got a good melee here. We got a good uh, artist. And we got a good medical, cooking, and shooting. So our team skills, we have no construction. We have really bad construction. But we do have somebody with a with a slight passion for construction in Bella Rose. Bella Rose. Mining and construction. Yeah, mining is kind of important as well, right? We don't have any... Oh, here. This person. Best. Best can do a little bit of mining. It has a basic familiarity with mining. Okay. I feel like um we don't want to like min max all this too much, right? We we you got to you got to make it work with what you get. Check the left behinds. Okay. So we got shooting, cooking, medical, intellectual, plants, animals and mining. Dan is crafting animals and melee. Boomer is really good at mining and has a a, a passion for cooking as well. Okay, we might move Boomer in here instead. So we'd have mining, cooking, a bit of construction. I don't know if we'd need best, right? Artistic, social, animals, melee. Crafting, animals, and melee. Plants, and yeah, I think we'll take uh, Chartres, right? Bella Rose and Boomer. Chartres, Chartres. Josh Chartres. Need a good grower for your druggy utopia. Yeah, we got we're, we've got a good grower here. Sowing, caring for, and harvesting crops and foraging for food while traveling. That's Chartres. Okay, let's start. We're going in. God bless us. We have zero medical. It's okay. We'll get some more people. Three of you waking your crypto sleep sarcophagi. To the sound of sirens and ripping metal, you barely get to the escape pods before the ship's torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. There's an old car here. An ancient pod car. Alright, so we want to um, allow uh, people to use most of this stuff straight away. Who's our good, uh, who's our, our shooter? Um, schedule work, research quests. I can't remember how to play this game at all. Bio? Shooting, no. You, and maybe you? No, it's Bella Rose. Okay, and she's also really good at melee, it turns out. This guy is not very good at melee. Uh, and this guy is not at all good at melee either. But is good at plants and animals. Okay. Um, fine. Let's make it so that they can grab this stuff. Let's make it so that they can grab all this stuff. We've got a couple of options here. What's this? A limestone gram stele. 
Stelle. Stelle. There's another one here as well. Okay, some more ore. Um, we could dismantle that pot. I guess we would just want to start getting like uh, some some basic stuff set up, right? So we want to go architect, uh, structure, let's make some wooden walls. Get some sort of little uh, bunkhouse set up for these people. Whoops. Let's cancel this. Make it a bit... Uh, there we go. How do you rotate the door again? You don't need to? You just put it like that and it'll do it? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, perfect. And then we want... Uh, um, bridge, animal, flap, column, fence, gate, fence, wooden door, wooden wall. How do you do... Um, floors. There you go. Some wooden floor. Speed it up a bit. We gotta make some beds and stuff too. They can sleep on the floor for now, right? We can just make give them a sleeping space. The main thing will be to get a structure built. So that they can get out of the uh, the bad weather. Have I ever thought of playing Dwarf Fortress? Yeah, I need to check it out still, actually. I haven't uh, played it yet. We got a, a bit of construction botched. Not the best. All right. Architect. No. We want uh, wildlife schedule work. Oh, yeah. We need to look at all this stuff, too, right? Uh, zone. Stockpile zone. Growing zone. It's quite a big growing zone, actually. Let's go here like this. Uh, and then we want to say potato plant. No, we're going to... Well, well, really, we're going to need to start doing some smoke leaf straight away because they're going to get so pissed off, right? It's their religion. They, they want to be able to do some rituals and stuff. So let's go smoke leaf here. And then we'll do next to it some actual food potatoes what do you think's the best rice loads of rice potato wheat you think just potatoes is fine all right sure okay and then we want a stockpile zone we want a dumping stockpile God, the, the music is crazy. Okay, dumping stockpile can go there. Um, let's get a stockpile zone here, just for now. We need to cover this as well, right? It's all my money. Nice. And then we can chop some of this wood down too. Can't chop down this tree. raining okay good we got a roof now all right perfect so furniture a baby decoration we don't need a baby decoration we need some beds we'll get some wooden beds going we need three of these bad boys straight away <clears throat> How long before the animals get stoned? I don't know. Boomers just put a helmet on. Nice. Okay, Chartres is actually able to plant weed. It's really good. It 
It's got some ideal growing conditions out here too, our weed. How are the, how are the potatoes looking? Pretty good as well. Okay, nice. Gotta cut down a couple of trees. I think we need some more wood. We gotta haul some of this stuff over here too. Maybe we can we can make um, we need to make like a like a, a kill uh, a kill chamber as well, right? For when bad guys attack us. Hey Valdana, thanks so much for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Set up. Firefighting, medical, and other priorities? I don't think we have anybody that can do uh, medical. Alright, we got two beds now. It's not a bad start. There's a couple of meals out there. So we want to do um, zone, stockpile zone. This stockpile zone. We don't want rotten. In here, we just want meals. We don't want raw food. Chocolate, hay. We don't want any of this stuff here. We just want meals. And out here, we don't want meals. Okay, hopefully they move all these meals into here. Yes, they're doing it. Okay, good. All right, look, we've done it. The first night, everybody is nice and comfortable. They can sleep in a bed surrounded by puke. Somebody got sick. Somebody got sick and puked everywhere. The medicine will go bad. Oh yeah, it is starting to go bad, you're right. Okay, architect zone, stockpile zone. All right, in here we want clear all and we only want Manufactured medicine. And in here we don't want medicine. We need light and a horseshoe pin. Hey, look, they take off their hats to go to sleep. <laughs> Bella Rose, Boomer, and Chartres. Chart Chartres. Uh, Chartres. transport this slag out of the way too so we have a nice place to grow you can store stuff on shelves outside and we'll go back shelves hold lots of stuff now oh shelves okay nice so if I go to architecture and I make a just this one here right shelf how much stuff are we talking? Two hundred and fifty units of anything? Wow. That's great. So you can just load up like wood and ore on, on, on a shelf and it'll hold tons of it. Oh yeah, we should get we should uh, we should get a pet bed set up too. Yeah, good idea. Get this guy sleeping in here.
Okay, we need a nice place for these guys to eat and stuff too, right? Eventually. Bella Rose is pretty good at the old construction. It's nice. Storage. Um, all right, we're going to clear all. And in here, we're going to have raw resources. Wood. We want to store all our wood here. Storage. No wood. I don't want my wood to go bad. It's gonna smell nice and uh, and and woody in there too, and the components as well. It doesn't look like they're storing the wood there. They are making a start on getting the uh, medicine stored though. That's nice. Okay. Oh yeah, they're doing it. Nice. Why is Boomer so slow? Boomer, hurry up! Go faster! Come on now! Can you do any shooting whatsoever? No, you can't. Where's this other guy going? Is that a guinea pig? Amazing. Bella Rose. Bella Rose has a gun. Boomer can do a little bit of shooting. Well, he can't. He he'll he he can he can shoot. He's just not very good at it, I should say. Oh yeah, the shelves are really nice. Look at the amount of stuff that fits in there now. So if you build a shelf outside and you put stuff into the shelf, it won't uh, it won't go bad. So shelves are the new way to store stuff? That's pretty sweet, actually. I, I like that. Furniture. Okay, I'm going to get some more shelves set up so I can put some more crap in there. All right, this one we want to clear all and allow steel only. This one we want to clear all and allow, um, what is it, components? Advanced components? Components? We don't have any advanced components yet. Components, and then we want also um, raw resources, silver, and gold. We don't want people stealing our money, right? That's no good. Look at all the steel that can fit on there. It's crazy. That's such a good change, isn't it? Look at the amount of crap you can put on there now. With the components. Oh, and it mixes too. Really nice. Okay, so in here, let's also put steel. Get this stuff. Oh, can you imagine how good that's going to be for like fabric and stuff? Really nice. Okay, good. All right, so these guys are busy at work. We're going to need to set up um, some more um, space, right? We'll probably turn this into like maybe uh, a storage room. And then off the back of this, we can have like uh, a dining area, the shelf with like some food, maybe like a freezer to put the meals in. Uh, how long do the meals last for? Package survival meals are the, are the ones that last forever, right? But just simple meals need to be chilled, right? <sighs> Only stuff that spoils can degrade on shelves. If you select a pawn and right click another, you can try to make them fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want them to 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 do this stuff naturally, you know. Um power. Wind turbine. Wood fire generator, chem fuel power generator. I think a wind turbine for now is fine. Mm. 
We need to have some clearance. Where's a good place to set one up? Like here? We need a little bit of power. Plan ahead, they need a lot of space. Ooh, look at these mushrooms. An ancient bed. You think that that's comfortable? An ancient pipeline section. An ancient generator. All this stuff is just free components, I guess. You gotta attack the car to destroy it? Alright, so we want to get power. Um, misc? Where are the batteries? Temperature, ideology, recreation. Where do you have a... There, there's a grand meditation throne. Oh, we gotta research them, of course. Shit. Okay, we'll have to get a torch lamp in here then. Okay, nice. Nice torch lamp. Very, very nice torch lamp. So we got this uh, windmill set up for nothing. Like, we're not even doing anything. We need to get some research going. I don't even think I have anybody who's capable of researching. Why is Boomer not wearing his Rastafarian hat or his pants? Why? Now this is music I recognize. All right, so in here, clear all. What we want in here is medicine and meals. Meals and medicines. And then we're gonna clear this zone and clear this one as well. That's great. The, the, the storage shelves are so good. Good God. That is really great. And then it's easier to see how much stuff you actually have as well, which is kind of nice. Um, we're gonna need to start um, making some meals eventually, but not straight away, I don't think. Let's get some of these potatoes grown. And we'll, uh, maybe we just deconstruct this for now. Furniture. Security. Production. Mm -hmm. A simple research bench. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Whoops. Production. Simple... Wooden simple research bench. Don't get distracted by another game tomorrow, please. Thanks. Okay, I won't. I'll, well, I'll try not to anyway. No guarantees, but I, I will try my best not to. This one will put weapons and stuff on. And clothing. Back to Overwatch 2 tomorrow? Isn't there a new hero uh, in uh, Overwatch 2? I'm sure there was. I'm sure there's one that just came out. Life... Life... Weaver or something? Life Weaver. Life Weaver. Life Weaver. What about some wild fishing? Sorry, they shut down all the Overwatch 2 servers forever? Oh. What am I gonna play now? What 
the heck am I going to play now, chat? Okay, research is ready to go. Passive cooler. Psychoid brewing, recurve bow, tree sewing, devil strand, beer brewing, complex clothing, noble apparel, drug production. Build a drug lab for basic drug synthesis. Further research is required to make specific drugs. Electricity, air conditioning, battery. That's the one. Okay, we must research the battery. All right, and here we're going to do a clear all and allow weapons and apparel so that it doesn't go bad out there, right? And then we just need another shelf for wool and hides and stuff. Oh, Chartres is doing some research right now. Nice. All right, yeah. So this gets clear, clear all. And we want raw resources. No, not plant matter. Uh, Aperol, no, manufactured textiles. Leathers, wools, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, perfect. All right, so this can go now. God, the shelves are so much better than the storage areas. I like that. I like that we could maybe we can make like a big storage room with all our stuff. The dog is eating a meal. I don't like that. I don't like when the dog eats a meal out of the out of the cupboard. I don't like that at all. You always big, make a big clothing warehouse now? It's a good idea. And I guess inside your warehouse with all the racks, you can put the beacon, right? So that you can use it for trading. <coughs> That's nice. That is really something else. Great change. Furniture? Um, let's get a little chair here. For Chartres. Take that stump away. We're out of wood. We gotta chop some more. Bella Rose is trying to make a, a crappy chair. Nice try. I think if you're not good at constructing stuff, you should not be constructing. Schedule is fine, but work? Who's our who's our constructor? Bella Rose with five skills? Oh, maybe it's just hard to make a chair, I don't know. Growing, mining, plant cutting. Manual priorities. Oh yeah. Alright, so we want you to have a higher priority on growing, and we want you to have a higher priority on construction. Chartres can do research. Not very good at it, but that's okay. She'll get around to it, I guess. When she's got nothing else to do. She must grow and plant cut, though. As a priority. Those are her big priorities, right? Firefighting. Being a patient. Boomer has to prioritize being a doctor. And then we can prioritize bed rest as well, right? Child care. Care for a baby or child with a colony? We don't have any babies just yet, but of course, yeah, now they can have babies, right? They can kiss the ladies and make the babies? Do, 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 do. Oh, the music's really nice. They've added some nice music. We also need somebody to um, prioritize doing some cleaning, right? Basic? What does that mean? Unskill and easy task release prisoners and flick switches on machines and stuff. Warden, handle, cook, 
hunt. Hunt, hunt and construct. Smith Taylor, craft, grow plant cut, mine. Mine hall, clean. Okay, everybody will just clean when they get a chance. Until we get somebody a little bit more specialized in cleaning, right? The cleaner. Once we invite the cleaner to the colony. <laughs> okay, let's just wait and see if we get another person in. But we'll have to we have we'll have to start um, making a uh, a guest room, right? We'll make a little jail. I always forget to make a little jail. Uh, where's the floors? Floors. Sorry, I found them. What about some straw matting? We don't have any hay. Good job, Bella Rose. Bella Rose is doing it. It's a big jail. I'm gonna make the back part of it a little jail cell, and then we'll have a um, we'll make a little med bay, just in case, right? I mean, I know they could just sleep in their own damn bed, but I feel like uh, if we keep them keep them separate, maybe it's a little bit better. All right. So back here, structure, wooden wall. with a door and then we'll get a furniture wooden bed can you do it with just a sleeping spot can you assign a sleeping spot to be uh, for prisoners yeah okay perfect all right so this is a barracks awful for prisoners And then in here, we're going to have some wooden beds. And this will be... You know what? Let's cancel this one. And then let's get a wooden shelf here. Let's get a small shelf here, in fact. This is going to be really good. Okay, this one we will do a clear all, but let's have just medicine here. And on this shelf, we'll have no more medicine, just meals. Nice. Very good. Okay, this is for colonists and it's medical. medical as well so this room is a, a little hospital for us and then we got a little uh, prison place as, as well right I don't have enough wood stored I love the sound it makes that 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 so good. Are you cool because you don't own a microwave? I don't know if you're cool, but you're smart if you don't own one. That shit will melt your brain. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't know why I don't have one. My life would be... Do you know what the problem is? We got a visitor, by the way. Who is it? It's a torturer from Hippabo. She is named Sarosar Ripley. What are you doing here, you son of a bitch? She's got a knife. She's just skulking around out there with a knife. She's got a whole blade. What the hell? We need some batteries. We need some recreation variety as well. Oh, yes, recreation variety. Let's get a horseshoe pin. 
let's get our 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 world our world famous horseshoe section set up here. Look. Perfect. Then we can chop down this tree. Let's haul these rocks. And people will come from far and wide to play horseshoes with the dopists. With the dopers. Um, I should get a microwave, but um, I do this thing in my life. I don't know if you guys do it as well. You become like so, uh, so sort of like uh, trench focused uh, on on an idea, even even though it uh, inconveniences you big time, and you just stick with it. It's like a weird complacency or something. I don't know. I should get one though. Yeah, you kind of get stuck in your ways. I think the older you get as well, you get a little bit stuck in your ways as well. Mm. What was that? What was that beep? Oh, the visitor from... Okay, good. She's uh, she's sheathed her blade. All right, Bella Rose is just doing some horseshoeing alone. Nice. It's kind of sad. Or like a DIY job that takes 30 minutes. Well, even, even like getting your stuff ready for taxes, for like tax time. In my mind, I'm like, it's going to take me all day. I sit down, I do it, it's done in five minutes. Like, it's so stupid. There's so many things that I'm like that with. It's why I, I, I never like get anything done. I like, it's, it's the worst. Do you use your microwave every day? Oh, man. I, I, we, we probably would use ours a lot, especially now with the baby and stuff. The thing is, if I had a microwave, I'd probably eat, like, better meals and stuff. But currently, man, I just eat, like... Like, a meal for me is, like, a, a bagel. <laughs> Standing up in my kitchen eating a bagel with, like, butter on it. That's, that's, that's like, the, the highest luxury. <clears throat> good for heating up baby food true yeah god uh, the our baby has a has a great appetite man she'll eat anything it's it's nuts she but she likes um she really likes fruits and vegetables like all of them which is weird right because babies normally don't they usually uh they usually just want to eat like you know biscuits and stuff like that you can get you can give her like a whole tomato and she'll just eat it how old's the baby? She's um she'll be two in July already. Well the rest of my family's veggie, yeah. Yeah, we're all we're all veggies. There are actual guinea pigs here. We can't leave them out there. We gotta bring them in. Do they do anything, or are they just, like, fun pets to have? If you have, like, a pet tamer or whatever, it'll make them happy. Could we give them, like, make a run for them and put, like, loads of hay in there and stuff? And breed them and then eat them? They suck you off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. That's exactly what I was looking for. You can do all of that. And you can eat them as well. Do we want to try to, to remain vegetarian in our colony does it matter there's an ancient war walker foot there's loads of ancient barrels here which might have toxic waste in them there's some alpacas here alpaca wool is pretty good too right if we want to start making some clothes i guess we got to start preparing for winter somewhat we could probably do with having some some sort of dining room as well right Let's go like this. And then we can do uh, floors. I know this is quite a big uh, room, but we can we can fit a lot of stuff in here, right? We can do a lot of production stuff in there too, eventually. Maybe move the research desk there or something. What happened? 
Oh, there's a mad guinea pig. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Everybody run for your lives. Bella Rose is freaking out. Boomer run. Boomer has been attacked. Boomer, turn around and fight. You got a gun. Shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. Fire at will. Fire. Where the heck is Bella Rose? What are you doing? Bella Rose. Get up here and shoot this guinea pig. In the meantime, Chartres, can you please rescue Boomer the Tunneler? Everybody stay indoors. What is Bella Rose doing? Why is Bella Rose not attacking this guinea pig? Now Chartres is going to go down as well. Cannot hit target. What? Is it too small? Oh my god, what a shot Bella Rose. Bella Rose meant to be good at shooting. Bella Rose not very good at shooting. Bella Rose, shoot better. Nice shot. Oh my god, man. Okay, what happened here? Um, health. Neck, torso, right arm, left arm, left leg, and left hand. Boomer has been mauled by the guinea pig. Chartres is uh, left finger, middle left middle finger, left hand, left foot, left leg, left arm, torso, neck. Just a scratch. Just a scratch. Any big bleeds? Just a scratch. There's just a little bit of, uh, of bleeding. Okay. Who is our doctor? Our doctor is Boomer. Okay, Boomer. You're going to have to... Boomer cannot walk. Oh, my God, man. What a start. Just going to die in 11 hours because of the... Okay. Boomer can now walk. Why is self-tend uh, disabled? Where do you change it again? Self-tend? Oh, you gotta change it on Boomer, right? Health. Default. Self-tend. Herbal medicine or worse? Best quality medicine. Okay. The best quality medicine that we have available to us. Boomer should have uh, tended to him or herself first. All right. Good, good job, Boomer. Good bandaging. Well done. All of this... Uh, one little guinea pig caused this much damage. Insane. Okay. You gotta self-tend yourself. Before it's too late. Moderate blood loss across the whole body here. You're doing great, Dad. Hello, me old Dingle. Hey, what's up, Dr. Dingle? Thanks so much for the 10. How's it going? Self-tend myself, yes. Self-tend... Self-tend to yourself. Self-tend to your... Self-tend to... Self-tend to yourself. Self-tend to yourself. All right, Boomer. Once that's done, let's go and equip the revolver. We're going to have to clean up this bloodbath in here as well, right? Right? 
And then we gotta prioritize uh, some bed rest. Bella Rose will never do cleaning. Okay, Chartres. We gotta clean. We gotta clean this blood, or else we're gonna get some mega infections, right? The blood must be cleared. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, rest until healed now. Nice. Okay, I think we recovered from that. Okay. Um, production. We want a butcher table. We can put the butcher table outside, right? Fuck, am I stupid or what? Like, I just built this right in front. I, I gotta take this thing down, I think. Okay, let's build this here. Oh, you get a penalty for it being outside? Okay, we'll build it in here then. We'll make this into like our food place. Put it in my bum. <laughs> I finally noticed. Yeah, I know. I gotta deconstruct this, I think. We don't want this here. Bella Rose can do it first thing in the morning. Production. Wooden butcher table. Okay, fine. Furniture. Let's put a stool here. I don't think we have anybody that can do animal taming. Bella Rose construction is pretty fast, though. It's only five, but she's quick. Really quick. All right, these two um, nincompoops are uh, are recovering after a brutal guinea pig attack. You'd think that they were mauled by a bear, but uh, they were not. It was just a guinea pig. Structure, wooden door. All right, bills, add a bill. Butcher creature. Do it uh, forever. Details. All of them. Okay, whoever can butcher a creature. Do it. That guinea pig's dead. We need its fur. We're going to need some more wood as well, I think. We have enough trees for now, I think. Oh, they got to cut the trees down in here too, right? The guys resting are starving. They need to go get a meal. All right, okay. Consume a package survival, survival meal. All right. Go eat a meal quickly, you two. Maybe they're just going to have to do their, their healing whilst they're on the job as well. Look, Chartres needs to do some healing horseshoeing. Chartres has decided that part of his healing journey is to do horseshoes alone. He's doing it. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Bella Rose thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? The Shoira Ot Otarkic Pact? Um, the Dopers? Bella Rose also thinks that you should give this settlement a name. What should this local settlement be called? Um, Dopamania? Sure. Your faction is now known as the Dopers, and this community is now known as Dopamania. <laughs> nice. We did it. Our whole religion centers around smoke and dope. And once we have a grand wizard doper as well, you can smoke dope with the Pope. That's going to be fun. Smoke and dope with the Pope. 
the Pope on dope. Every male colonist smiles with contentment. Oh, nice. Okay, that is going to only affect Chartres. I think Boomer and Bella Rose are both females. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Certainly. Maybe, uh, maybe a, a romance will blossom and maybe a child will be born. A bionic child. I think that the, the kid stuff is all bionic stuff, right? Do you have to um, do you have to do some bionic preparation or something for the child to be born or no? Oh, you can do a natural child as well. Okay, that's good to know. I like the sound of that. When a man and a woman love each other, but they might they might learn to love each other in this crazy place. You never know. But equally, maybe they will never know the true meaning of love. Maybe they will never find love on this wretched planet. You never know. Yeah, the windmill's blocked. We're going to disassemble it. I, um, I haven't played this game in a long time. And uh, you used to have batteries researched uh, right, out, right out of the box. Not, uh, not the case anymore, it turns out. A little mistake on my part. What can you do, eh? All right, Boomer. Boomer is uh, having a meal. And Boomer is returning to the hospital for more rest. I, I see, I see, I see. Okay, let's get a torch lamp in here. These guys are going to need to have a torch lamp going. Nice. No, we can't do geothermal power yet, I don't think. I think you have to research that. Uh, researching is not going great because we don't really have anybody who's any good at research. Hopefully we can get uh, another colonist soon, you know? Duckers is going to research. Who was uh Duckers was it was that you do you were the vegetable that we administered a, a joint to or was that somebody else What was the who was the vegetable Who was it I can't remember the name now Bird the hoe that's right it was Bird the hoe Oh man yeah, we 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 gave we gave uh, bird the whole weed and it killed them. Bird the horse, that was you. Oh, bird the horse! Fuck, you're still around. Oh man. Do you know what? That actually fully makes me smile. I'm not even I'm not even putting on a fake smile. I can't believe that you were here last time we played Worm World and you're still here. That was years ago. Fuck. That's really good. Thank you. You're always here? Thank you. Thank you so much. That's great. What a thing, eh? You told I told you guys this is a legendary moment. Man, it's been a while since I last played, but uh, I feel like I'm starting to remember bits and pieces of what, what I need to be doing. I forgot that uh, there is just a lot of... Uh, there are some definitely some crazy moments in this game, but there is just a lot of like uh, pl planning and plotting and stuff involved too, which I kind of like. And I fucking hate that this fucking dog is eating all my fucking meals out of the fucking storage shelf. Come on. Can we ban him from going in here? Or can we move this? Can we move this uh, animal sleeping spot? We're going to deconstruct this animal sleeping spot. Okay. We're going to ban him from going in there. Animals. Allowed area. Home. Okay. Allowed area. Area 1. Alright. Listen. Unrestricted. So it has to stay in home. How do we how do you do this again? How do you ban them from going inside? Manage areas? Make a new area. All right. Manage areas. Area 1. Area 1. 
How do you do this again? Manage areas, rename, animal area, okay. How do I uh, draw where I want it to be? Oh, on the architect tab, okay. Architect zone. Clear home area, growing zone, expand allowed area. For animal area. I've got it. Alright. You're allowed to go here. And here. And here. And you know what? I'll even let you go behind here a little bit. But you cannot go inside the house. It's forbidden. There. Now he can't eat my meals. He's going to have to go and eat dirt and whatever else dogs eat when they're out there. We could probably put some kibbles out there for him or something. We'll make some kibbles. Okay, another thing we need to do is tailor art, craft, clean, hunt, cook. Cook, uh, warden, basic. Who does the... Oh, it's Boomer. Boomer has to uh, prepare the meat. No, don't haul it. There, okay. You got to prioritize butchering. Nice. Okay, good job, Boomer. Uh, we don't want that thing to rot away. Look, there's going to be some good there. Look at that. Look at these. Look at these meaty bits. Nice meaty bits, Boomer. Nice. You need to haul these components and stuff as well, right? All right. Architect, production, uh, steel butcher table. What? Why have we upgraded everything to steel all of a sudden? Art bench, electric crematorium, stone cutter's table, a hopper, nutrient paste dispenser, um, an electric stove, a fueled stove. We don't really need to make meals just yet. We don't have anything to make meals with. I suppose we have a little bit of meat. We gotta probably do some hunting as well. Let's see if we can kill this turkey. Bella Rose is of course our hunter and builder. An ambrosia sprout. Oh. Look at that. It must be something to do with our, what's our dog's name again? Cleo. Cleo has drug poops and it's made an ambrosia sprout. Bella Rose, this is hard to watch. I think he did hit the turkey once though. There does seem to be a blood trail. We got some visitors. Look at these visitors. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope they don't eat any of my food. I don't have that much left. Oh, what happened? Raid? The Cancer Psychers are raiding us. Oh, no. Boomer, you got your gun? Okay, where is Bella Rose? Bella Rose and Boomer. We're being raided. You gotta we gotta prepare ourselves for this raid. Oh, don't go out there. Stay here just for now. You're not good at melee or shooting or anything. This is our a, a plants and animals person, right? Oh, Cleo is attacking. Headshot? Get him, Cleo. Oh, what a shot. Cleo's down. Try not to... I think his eye has been shot out. Oh, my lord. Nice shot. Is he dead? 
He's dead. Oh, okay, perfect. All right, we need to um, allow this. Okay, Bella Rose is a little bit hurt. What happened to Bella Rose? Torso and right leg have been cut with a knife. Okay, Boomer is tending to Cleo, who is not doing too good. Boomer will then need to tend to Bella Rose. Uh, Cleo was shot by a revolver. I don't know who that could have been. Um, the knife cut to Cleo has been bandaged. I think Cleo might survive. Incredible. I think it, I think it could happen. Okay. We're going to need a uh, animal sleeping spot. Zone? Structure? Furniture? Where the heck is the animal sleeping spot? Here it is. Okay. Okay, Cleo, this one's for you. <laughs> I feel like uh, animals belong outside anyway, right? So... If they're not feeling too good and you nurse them, and but you give them an outdoor sleeping spot, but you still tend to their wounds and stuff, they'll probably recover, right? Do we want to trade with these guys? How do you trade with them again? Who's our who's our um, who's our good um, who's our warden? It's Bella Rose, who's not feeling too good right now. All right. Pemmican, package survival meal. Toxos has none. They have some pemmican, though. We could take all of their pemmican. We can take all their herbal medicine as well. And we can take their smoke leaf joints. That's a lot of money, though. We have... Uh, it would be... Use, we'd use up half of our money. They got a flame bow and a, simple, a steel simple helmet as well. 56 bucks for a flop hat? Oh, yeah. We can sell that, that right? And we got some Synthread pants as well. I don't know if we want to sell all of our flop hats, though. We need them for our religion, right? We can sell the steel knife poor. Knock off a little bit of the, uh, a bit of the money as well. Okay, maybe we just get, like... Okay, you know what? Let's just get three joints for now, okay? 200 bucks. Alright. That'll have to do. All right, storage, drugs, um, smoke leaf joints. Nice. All right. And in here as well, storage, um, foods, pemmican. All right, look, hey, Cleo's going to recover. Look at all the bandages. Holy crap. Um, all right. It's fine. <clears throat> She's in a lot of pain, Cleo. A female Labrador Retriever, age nine. Um, it's fine. She didn't lose any limbs or anything. She's going to make it, I think. Has Bella Rose been tended to? It looks like it, yeah. So Bella Rose's health, yeah, she's been all bandaged up nice. Now we gotta administer the smoke leaf joint. Do you think it's the time? No, you can't. It's not it's not the right time to do that. I tell you what though, we do need to prioritize hauling this body. Who can haul this body? There's also 20 guinea pig meats in here. They didn't want to buy 20 guinea pig meats? That's a shame. Oh, administer it to the dog. Health. Operations. 
add a bill, administer smoke leaf joint. Done. Okay. Cleo deserves it. Cleo deserves a hit from the bong. It's going to make Cleo feel better, right? Cleo's going to feel right. Look at look at the body of the raider is just full of holes. Got to be leaking. All right. Good job. Get that pemmican stored. Let's get these smoke leaf joints in. Chartres eating some pemmican. Very nice. We got some herbal medicine. Nice. It's good to see everybody back at work. Boomer's feeding Bella Rose some pemmican. That's nice. Tending to Cleo as well with some uh, with some bandages. Has not administered the joint yet though. It's happening now, I think. He's feeding Cleo some pemmican, which I not too sure about. And now Cleo is enjoying a dupe. Very good. Okay, good. Cleo is stoned on pemmican. Not sorry, not pemmican, smoke leaf, I should say. There's a lot of blood all over the colony. A, a fierce battle was fought here. It's not a surprise. There should be a dead turkey out there somewhere as well, hopefully. Perhaps not. Good girl indeed, yeah. That's nice. It's the kind of it's the kind of thing we want to see. There's an ancient wheel here. It's a bunch of rats. I think Cleo's starting to feel better already. I think it's I think it's I think good things are happening. Look, Bella Rose is ready to do some construction with her welding tool. No, I didn't build a roof for the dog bed, no. I think dogs like to live outside, honestly. At least that's what I tell myself. Okay, let's make a little bench here. Let's fuel up here as well. Bills, add a bill. We want to make some um, simple meals. Probably. Until we have 15. We'll just use whatever ingredients we can. Guinea pig meat. One meal has been prepared. We've prepared our first meal. Now we got it. Now we'll have a steady source of food. I'm lying. Uh, let's hunt this guinea pig. <laughs> We're going to have to hunt some more. There's another one here too. Come on, Bella Rose. What are you waiting for? Oh, there is a dead turkey. The turkey died of blood loss, I think. That's great. That's a lot of turkey meat. Be Bella Rose needs to just practice shooting, right? This is the best thing that we can do. Nice. Look, she got it. What a shot. Incredible shot. Such a good shot. All right. So here we want to store. Um, corpses. We don't want animal corpses stored here, right? We're going to store our animal corpses down here instead. So we'll have a zone, which will be a, a dump zone back here. For our animal corpses. So it doesn't get too stinky. Storage. Clear all corpses. Animal corpses. Large corpses. And then structure. We can get a wooden door here as well. All right. Once we get this research done, we can make a uh, we can make a cooler so that we can um, 
store all of our food stuffs in there too, right? Let's kill this squirrel. Let's kill this rat. Okay, Cleo is able to walk once again. Happy days. Boomer is eating a simple meal. Nice. Any food poisoning? Doesn't look like it. Oh, the kitchen's going to be dirty because the butcher table is so close? Yeah, I know. For now, it'll just we'll just have to do it like this, right? We can move it later. We give it its own like room or whatever at some point. be good to be able to make some clothes and stuff soon right maybe we can make some parkas out of guinea pig wool we should try to tame an alpaca as well potentially there was some out here oh look at all this stuff there's some rhinos here holy shit <laughs> i love that noise that's really good do <laughs> Hunt the rhinos? No way. No way am I doing that. I know what that leads to. We're not ready for that yet. I know exactly where that leads to. Alright, everything seems to be somewhat under control for now. If you tame a female, do you get alpaca milk as well? I have no idea. Maybe? Getting some wool off of the alpaca every once in a while would be pretty nice, though. Make some parkas for the winter. How'd we ever play this without the shelf stacking? Man, I don't know. It's so good, though. That Like, already, that's such a nice change. You can just make things a lot more compact, which is which is nice. You don't have to have these big sprawling zones for... Annoying stacks of items and stuff. It's very quiet. Very quiet. How are these potatoes doing? They're 45% grown. Our smoke leaf is 35% grown. We're going to have so many potatoes. Everybody's just going to be eating mashed potatoes. Nice shot. Holy crap. What a great shot. Don't shoot the alpacas. Whatever you do. Scare them away by all means, but... We don't want to murder them. We want to tame them. We want to tame them and we want to breed them. If we can tame them and breed them, we can sell the babies. Or sell the old ones for meat and wool. Don't shoot that alpaca. Okay, nice. That was really close. I think we're trying to tame this one, actually. All right. Okay, well, we've got a couple of meals. We've definitely got a couple of... Uh couple of uh, leathers and stuff too so we can maybe start making some better clothes let's make some dusters and stuff research is not going very well but we'll, we'll hopefully recruit somebody who can do some better research for us Move some of this stuff out of the way. This is a mature bush. There's a mature bush right here. Cleo is still... Um, oh, we can harvest this stuff for medicine. It's these plants that we harvest for medicine, right? Yeah, that's really good. We should probably try to grow some. I think it might be too late for that now, but... Uh, work? No. Architect, uh, zone, growing zone. So in here we want 
Um, what is it? Smoke leaf, hay grass, heel root. Minimum skill of eight. I think our man can do it. We need medicine. We definitely need some medicine, don't we? Okay, we've got plenty of wood. Nice. Oh, man, you got to love it when things start to come together, eh? It's pretty good so far. I feel like we've got a, a decent enough setup just to get going. Smoke leaf. We got we got we got a couple of dubs left over. Who's gonna have one? Architect, ideology, a grand altar, a lectern, a kneel pillow, a burn bong, high fumer, a styling station, a light bulb, a loudspeaker, a drum. So you can and a ritual spot, a spot for carrying out certain kinds of rituals, a grand platform that plays a role in uh, religious rituals. A slanted platform that holds a text in front of a speaker. Place it near the focus of rituals and speeches to extend the duration of their positive effects. We're going to have to start doing some of this stuff, right? These guys are desperate to take a hit from the bong. Alright, let's get this some of this stuff hauled out of here. Let's get some of these trees cut down here too. Chartres is so good at chopping trees as well. Look at how fast. Jeez, that's so good. Really, really nice. Okay. Um, furniture. Let's get a torch lamp in here as well. Just a little tiny bit more wood. There, now if people work at in the evening, they'll have some light to guide them. They can be guided by the light. I think we want to bury some of these guys, right? Do we want to make a graveyard for our enemies? Misk. Grave. Maybe if we dig some graves, it'll uh, it'll ward off future raiders. We can't afford to get the uh, the crematorium just yet. I don't think. <laughs> Make it by the front door and show any visitors what you're about. Tempted. I am tempted to do that. Put them in a cage to rot away? Does that cost me steel to do? Misk. Caravan hitching spot, a meditation spot, a party spot, a pen marker. A post with a sign designating an animal pen. It must be placed in an area enclosed by fences, barricades, walls, and doors. You can assign each pen marker a set of animals to accept, and handlers will bring animals to an appropriate pen. Fuck, that's so good. Gosh, that's really good, isn't it? Ship landing beacon marks the corner of a landing area. Four of these placed at the corners of a clear area create a landing pad. Spacecraft usually land on pads if possible. Wait, can so can ships actually land on the planet now to trade with you and stuff? Okay, we need to set these up at some point as well, right? Marriage spot. Designated as a spot for meditation. Psy casters can meditate here to gain psy focus. If a focus object like a sculpture is nearby, the psy caster will be able to focus on it to boost their psy focus gain. <coughs> Jesus. God, there's so much stuff in this game now.
shoot him. A new quest has become available. It is called the Hunted Praetor. <coughs> Kaltau Kesslis, a Praetor of the Empire of Copus, is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting Yorkshire Terrier. Kaltau wants you to keep him safe at Dopamania for a few hours until a shuttle can come pick him up. He will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts his quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal title of Yeoman. <clears throat> and all benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. Holy shit. All we gotta do is is shield him from a man-hunting Yorkshire Terrier? Okay, Bella Rose. This quest will reward honor and thus royal titles for Bella Rose. Since Bella Rose is greedy, she will demand that the title's privileges be fully respected. Bella Rose may refuse to do certain work types or eat low-class food and will issue decrees. Another colonist would probably be more flexible. All right. Um, Chartres, maybe? Chartres is incapable of social tasks. Those with royal titles have great need of social skills. Okay, I don't think we can do this because... Okay, Boomer has just taken it. Boomer has accepted a quest the Hunted Praetor. And Kaltau has joined a disgraced officer named Kaltau has arrived and is joining the colony alright well you better run you SOB because if that man man hunting terrier gets you I mean we do have medical facilities actually it's okay Bella Rose is uh, busy trying to kill a raccoon right now the raccoon is currently winning Juking like crazy. Okay. Here comes the man hunting Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> he's 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 hot footing it. <laughs> he's not fucking around. What can this guy do? Oh, he's good at shooting, it turns out. Alright, Boomer. Cannot romance Boomer. Um Gear. Can you please drop this gun? And Kalto, you can pick it up. He's pretty good at shooting. All right, everybody else inside. That means you, Boomer. Um, and let's get Bella Rose into position here. And Kalto, as soon as you got your gun... All right, where is this stupid dog? There's horses out here. Oh, here it comes. Okay. All right, the dog is going to come around from this side. All right. Let's occupy the doorways. Shit. Yeah, you got it. Okay, Keltau. This is unbelievable. The shuttle has arrived to collect Keltau. It's there. All right, we're just dealing with the uh, with the dog for now. We got it. Good job. All right, can you drop this gun though? I don't want you to keep this gun. Thank you. All right, Boomer, you can pick up the, the revolver. You can go back to normal. Oh look, Kaltau has just decided that he's gonna join in. No acceptable food. We need a meditation spot. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. That's not true. Bella Rose does have a weapon already. Do you know what? That wasn't too bad. What uh, the Yorkshire Terrier is dead, but what is this like evil swirl? Is that what drove him mad? How come Kaltau is not leaving? Get to the shuttle. Oh, do I have to move him there myself? Uh, 
All right, it's safe for him to go. <coughs> Sorry, I thought he would do it on his own. I didn't realize I had to do it. Boom. All right, we did it. Quest completed. You, you have successfully completed the quest, the Hunted Praetor. Nice. Quest available, Boomer's Yeoman Ceremony. The Empire of Copus is ready to grant Boomer the title of Yeoman and, and the power of a level one Psy Link in a bestowing ceremony. The bestower will, will, uh, will arrive by shuttle and perform the ceremony. The bestower will only give a title if any throne room requirements are satisfied. There's a chance of gaining extra honor depending on how many viewers attend the ceremony. Additionally, every viewer gains a mood bonus. You could betray the bestower to steal Silent Neuroformers, but this will take the Empire of Copus. It'll make the Empire of Copus your enemy. If you miss or fail this ceremony, there will be another opportunity later. If the bestower or guards are harmed for any reason, there will be diplomatic consequences. Okay, I don't have Freeholder title gained for Boomer. The title of Freeholder cannot be inherited. If she dies, no one will inherit this title. All right, so Boomer needs to start working on, on a on a CK3 style family, right? Boomer is going to have to create some offspring to, uh, to, to further the lineage and stuff. Fuck me, that's kind of cool. That is kind of neat. I like all that. That is cool, isn't it? We don't have a throne room, though. I guess we should uh, make one at some point. A grand old throne room it could be nice right and then uh, decorate it with uh, all sorts of cool stuff so this is ideology so we need a a reliquary a ceremonial building that protects and displays a relic no a wood structure packed with smoke leaf. It can be ignited during a ritual and produce a huge amount of smoke leaf smoke for a few hours, after which it is destroyed. This is the gibbet cage, a steel cage for holding and displaying corpses. This horrifying sight inspires terror and disgust in observers. It is an especially brutal and effective way to terrorize slaves. A large wooden drum used as a musical source for tribal rituals and parties. There's a skull spike here. A table with a mirror and styling tools. People can use this to change their look. Well, that's kind of cool. So what do you need for the throne room? Recreation floors, furniture. Is it just in here? End table, dresser. A meditation throne. A drape. Decorative sheet hanging from a vertical wooden frame. Appropriate for royal rooms. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff in this menu as well. Bed roll, double bed roll, animal bed, a, a brazier, tables, a toy box. Toy boxes can be used to play with babies, satisfying their need for play. There's no denying it. Babies do love playing. It's They really do love it. You don't need anything for the first uh, level? Boomer. Bio? Um, underground wimp, nervous, renounce title, Bobby Boomer Jesane. What title did we get? We don't, we don't have it uh, yet. It says renounce title, but I don't even have a title. Social? Assign role, no reachable altar. Freeholder. Oh, is it Freeholder? Oh, Freeholder. Currently has the title Freeholder awarded by the Empire of Copus. Seven honor. Next title, Yeoman, costs six honor. The title Freeholder cannot be inherited. It's flexible about this title's privileges. Earnable titles. Freeholder, Yeoman, Acolyte, Knight, Praetor, Baron, and Count. Other titles for the Empire are Duke, Consul, Stellarch, and Emperor. So you can actually become the Emperor of Copus. <coughs> okay, how do I do how do I tell them I'm ready? For the uh, for the thing.
accept the quest. Uh, I don't know where the quest is now. Oh, quest. Uh, available. Except for a new Psylink level and a Yeoman title. Boop, boop. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the bestower is waiting for Boomer to finish his meal. Boomer, what are you doing? Try to arrest. Begin the bestowing ceremony. Right. Quality factors. Participants, 2 out of 17. Room impressiveness, 25.9 out of 170. Expected quality is 30%. Uh, okay, sure, let's go. Wait, not participating? Spectators? Yeah, we want all these people. Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is so neat. It takes a while, though, eh? I mean, I guess I'm getting new... Look at the guards. Look at their guns and stuff. Fucking crazy. It's like the Secret Service. Try to arrest with eight super soldiers? Can you imagine? What a tussle that would be. Uh oh, there's a fire. Oh my god. Come on, Cleo. How are you on fire? Okay, the bestowing ceremony is done. Can somebody go extinguish the dog? I think the dog... The dog needs medical treatment once again. <laughs> He's been burned. His head, his head and right ear have been burned. Okay. Boomer received the title of Yeoman from the Empire Copus. Boomer has gained her first level of Psylink. She is now a Psy caster. To use psychi pow psychic powers, Boomer must build up Psy focus through meditation. The effectiveness of this meditation is increased if a person can focus on a specific object while meditating. Different people are able to focus on different objects. This depends on the person's backstories, traits, and titles. For example, Psycasters with royal titles meditate on their throne. Psycasters with tribal childhoods meditate to anima trees. Uh, okay, fine. You can see someone's meditation focus types by looking at their info card with the I button. Title of Yeoman cannot be inherited. If she dies, no one will inherit this title. Right, okay. <coughs> Good. Bestowing ceremony total quality was 30% determined by these factors. Boomer received one honor as a sign of respect from the Empire of Copus for gathering four spectators. That's sad. <coughs> that is sad. And the dog was struck by lightning during the ceremony as well. So all in all, just kind of kind of a shit time for everybody involved. It's a bad omen, yeah. All right, listen, I got to save and quit. But we will resume this tomorrow, chat. I will be back and we'll carry on. It was good fun to be back in RimWorld. It's been a while, and uh, there is there has been a lot of nice new changes. <coughs> and we will carry on playing through them, yes? Okay. What is Boomer's power? I don't know. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Um, listen, it's a little bit uh, late for me. I got to go. I got a couple of things to do. Um, so I will go do them. Chat, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh... And thanks for all the support as well. Thanks for the subs and resubs and the donations and everything. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, we'll be back uh, tomorrow and we'll do some more RimWorld then. Yes? Sounds good? All right. Perfect. Chat, take it easy. Um, keep it fresh. And uh, LOL, lots of love. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes? All right. Peace, chat. Bye now. Bye.